Some people say I'm very patient. I've heard that many, many times. One of the most patient people. I just sound like Donald Trump. What's up everybody, I'm Maddie Matheson! And today I'm cooking something. We're gonna be making birria egg rolls. What the fuck? Yeah! So the first thing that we need to do is make our birria. Birrias taste amazing. We got our dried ancho peps. We're Boom. gonna toast them up in the pot. Boom. Egg rolls taste amazing. We got our wahijo peppers. Throw Boom. a couple of those in Boom. there. Boom. Toast them up. And we're gonna be putting them together. Peppers are bowl. I always think it sounds different Boom. and I know that I'm saying it wrong. Boom. So put those in. And we're gonna be making something I don't think anyone's made yet. But maybe kind of similar. You know, it's very similar to a taquito cinnamon. Absolutely beautiful cinnamon. Boom. Put that in there. But I think the egg roll wrappers, we're gonna toast that up. The old egg roll skins is what I'm desiring. Toasting that up. I just love an egg roll and I feel like egg rolls don't really get a lot of love. But the one thing that I don't like about egg rolls is bean sprouts. I kind of hate bean sprouts. I hate bean sprouts and like pho. I hate bean sprouts and egg roll because you always bite it and just everything comes out. So we have a beautiful chuck here. Chuck I think is the best type of beef for when you're making birria. We're just gonna cut this into big chunks. Taking the egg roll and then making a beautiful birria. <sighs> I just think that like it needs to happen. I don't think browning it is gonna add that much more flavor, truly. It's gonna add a little bit, but for something like this, I think it's gonna be okay. Okay? Birria egg rolls is gonna be really big. <laughs> Here we go. Let's make birria egg rolls. <laughs> hey, I'd like to thank BetterHelp for helping me and sponsoring this episode of Cooking Something. Therapy is a game changer for a lot of people and myself included. Can I deal with the daily stresses of life? Can I deal with my inner thoughts and concerns and anxieties and overwhelming weight of the world on our shoulders? The ever eternal abyss that is tomorrow. It's all coming, it's not stopping. But you know what? You can get better help to give you a little bit of help. There's over 30,000 professionals that can help you out. As you know, with your life is busy, that you can set up a time anytime and there will be a therapist available for you. Did you know that like if you sign up and you're like, I don't really like that therapist, it doesn't cost you to switch. Click the link in the description below, betterhelp.com slash Maddie, M-A-T-T-Y, for 10% off your first month to connect with a therapist, okay? Better help, thank you. See that, a little smoky, we're getting a little toasty, warming up these little pep peps. It'd be cool if I could actually speak French. But, uh, you know, being Canadian and all. And then we're gonna take just some tomato puree. Mmm. Put that in there. But, uh, you can imagine me, my younger years in French class, I didn't do so well. Then we're gonna take our beef stock and pour that in. So if you wanted to make like a super, super dank consomme, you could add some bone marrow, even some chicken feet will go a long way and give you that real sticky. I think one of my teachers named Madame Seabear. She got really mad at me one time. And then we have our chunks of beef, beautiful marble, lots of flavor, lots of fat. We're just gonna plop this in there. And I think she was like holding her keys and she like slammed her hand down on my desk. I am gonna season it with some salt and pepper. I was doing something stupid probably. And I just remember that she like slammed her keys so hard on her desk that she like kind of like cut her hand. We're gonna throw in some bay leaf, Boom. some nice little cumin seeds. And I started laughing because I was like, why'd you do that? And we're gonna throw in a little pinch of oregano. Why'd you do that, madame? Once again, I'm in Nashville, Tennessee. They don't really have uh, Mexican uh, oregano, or I would use some beautiful, fresh, beautiful Mexican oregano. And then I got sent to the office. We can't have everything we want. I was amazed we even could get the peppers. And I was just like, but you, you slammed your hand down, and they were brought in from New York. You should control yourself. I'm gonna add some onion. You should control yourself. We're gonna put in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight cloves of garlic. We're also just gonna put in a couple peppercorns. 
Then we're gonna bring it up to temperature, put it into the oven at 325, into the middle rack for about two and a half to three hours. Let's braise it up. All right, here we go. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna make some salsa matcha. So we're just putting in all the same peppers that we put in. We're gonna put a little bit of the cinnamon that was left over. And we got some peanuts. I'm gonna throw the peanuts in there too, cause I like it a little more choppy. We're just gonna pulse this stuff. Ooh, that smells so good. We're gonna take some garlic. I'm just gonna slice this up real quick. Okay, need a little oil or like that much. We're gonna throw in our garlic, throw in all those sesame seeds, some cumin seeds, our peppers and our peanuts, some paprika. Some Mexican chili powder too. We're gonna throw in some cayenne. We're gonna throw in some dried chilies as well. Real spice town. Some salt. Cool. And you just wanna cook this until all the peanuts are nice and roasted, the garlic is nice and roasted, and the sesame seeds are roasted, and all the peppers. It's really a beautiful salsa. That's what's up. I'm gonna lift the veil on cooking shows and everything that we do worldwide. This is a different pot than the pot that I made, that the pot is actually in here still cooking! But we don't have like four hours to hang out and wait. So like we made some of this shit yesterday. So I got some beautiful nuggies right here, right now. This in the oven is braising. Once it's cooked to fork tender, we're gonna take it out, we're gonna strain it, and then we're gonna pour the liquid back onto the beef put it into the fridge for 24 hours. Like I said, some of these things take a long friggin' time. We're gonna make our filling now for our egg rolls. I'm wearing a belt today. I got like six mic packs in my back pocket. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna chop this up. See, I think if you did this hot, it would shred rather than like chop. You kinda want it choppy. We're gonna take this and put it back into the bowl. So we're gonna have a little bit of the broth here. I'm not gonna put in a lot. I just need a little bit, okay? Just a little bit, because I want them a little juicy in the middle, but not too much. I'm also gonna put one big scoop of our salsa matcha inside. Maybe two scoops, this is good. Oh yeah. And we're just gonna mix this around. Oh, this smells so good. That is a beautiful filling for the egg bowls. This is where shit gets weird. Mozzarella. Boom. Oh. <laughs> We're just gonna incorporate our mozzarella in with our birria. I'm gonna warm my consomme. Now, we got our egg rolls. Make an egg wash for the egg roll. Clutch. Get a, the smallest bowl on the history of the planet. Always. Can I follow simple instructions? Jesus Christ. First, don't rip them as you're peeling them apart. I'm excited, because honestly, this is like more inspired by, you know when you go to places and you get like pizza, pizza egg rolls? Pizza egg rolls are so famous. I'm just like, man. So you can make a lot of these, and I definitely think that you could take these and put these into the freezer. And then if you were to do these from frozen, my only thing, my thought would be you would probably cook it at like a lower temperature. What am I doing these at? I don't know, like three, 340. Kind of like making these. Even at like Mr. Beef in Chicago, they do like pizza pizza pocket like egg rolls that are like crazy. Egg rolls don't get the love that I feel, you know, everyone's on spring rolls and all that other stuff. I'm like, yo, egg rolls are tight. Hello everyone. We got a couple things happening here. We want a nice bowl of our consomme, okay? A little sippy, a little onion, a little cilantro, a little lime, just a little matcha, just to bring it all together. Look at this. Um, now we're gonna take a little, this is just sour cream. It's not, you know, I'm not gonna act like that's crap. Once again, just a little matcha. These are great for parties, birthdays, weddings, celebrations, funerals, whatever you need to do. The birria egg roll is there for you. It's incredible. I didn't invent it. I haven't seen it before, but I guess it is probably on TikTok. A little dip of this, should have guessed. I'm just like, look, give it a bet. Ah! You literally could put anything inside of an egg roll shell and it would be great. A chopped chicken Caesar salad, that would be kind of gross maybe. 
It's actually crazy. It's so good. Hamburger egg rolls, cheeseburger egg rolls. Anything with meat and cheese I feel would be great. I hope you have a beautiful day. I'm Maddie Matheson. Thanks to my sponsors and have a great day. Like I don't feel the pressure. You know when you usually got the pressure? I don't, whenever I get, a, if I go on a plane, cause I suck it up, I can't shit on a plane physically. There's just not enough space under there in that little area for me. It's not, my face is against the door. <laughs> it's hell on earth, I've tried it before. I'm chock full of poop.